Hi. Uh, we're absolutely thrilled to have been invited to come along today. So having, I've worked as a doctor in surgery over the last 16 years, and for 12 of those also in venture capital. I've seen the devastation that cancer surgery causes, and I have the conviction that the technology and team behind Oncares can make a significant impact on patient outcomes. Every 16 seconds, a person is diagnosed with breast cancer, and it could easily be your mother, sister, or even your daughter. The likelihood is all of us in this room will have a loved one impacted by this disease. Imagine receiving this diagnosis and being amongst the lucky majority to have a lumpectomy, only to be told they didn't get it all, and you have to return for further surgery. Avoidable repeat surgeries happen in 30% of Australian women. And surgeons, patients and insurers are searching for a solution as existing techniques just don't work. Globally, over 2 million people are diagnosed with breast cancer every year. And these unnecessary repeat surgeries create a billion dollar burden on healthcare systems across the US and Europe. Not to mention the emotional physical and economic impact on patients and families. It is well recognised that cancer is stiffer than healthy tissue, and touch is the primary sense a surgeon uses to ensure that they've removed all of the tumour. This might seem reasonable until I tell you that they're looking for less than a millimetre of tumour through at least one set of surgical gloves. And as surgeons are trying to remove all of the tumour with as little healthy tissue as possible, it's not surprising that tumour is missed. Oncares is developing a handheld probe that uniquely translates the surgeon's sense of touch into a microscale image. Surgeons will be able to use our probe inside the surgical cavity to identify tumour that would have been missed and remove all of it the first time. Oncares' technology combines optical coherence tomography and elastography. OCT on the left is similar to ultrasound but uses light waves instead of sound waves, with the resulting images being microscale in resolution and seeing about one to two millimetres into tissue. But OCT alone does not have the tissue differentiation required. When we overlay elastography, which is a quantitative measurement of tissue stiffness, the tumour lights up in the red on the picture on the right. We have six patent families protecting this technology, including one granted in the US, and breast is just our first cancer, with broad applicability across cancer surgery. So, what progress have we made to date? Over the last three years, we've established the diagnostic uh, accuracy of our technology on the benchtop, we've implemented this technology into a handheld probe, and in the last few months, we've commenced our in vivo clinical trials. This year, we were the first Australian company ever to be selected into the MedTech Accelerator Program, which is based in LA and a global program. Through that, there were over 800 applicants and we were awarded, we won the value award, which was for the company with the technology that they believed had the best value proposition for improving patient healthcare. <laughs> Thanks. So, Let's talk about that sensitivity and specificity. We ran a 90 patient clinical trial in Perth on the bench top, and this showed that OCT elastography significantly outperformed straight OCT at 93% and 96%, which was far better than we'd hoped for. Then we added a simple algorithmic based automated reader, and we got that up to 100% and 97%. We've started our clinical trial, and you can see um, the whole team in the, well, not the whole team, but part of our team in the shot um, during that surgery. On the second patient, we saw that there were, our technology saw that there was residual tumour remaining in the cavity. And 10 days later, the pathologist confirmed that in fact there was tumour on the edge of the specimen. So, uh, where do we fit amongst the competitors? Because this is a very competitive field. We do believe that Oncares' technology has the ability to be best in class based on our superior accuracy and also safety and util surgeon utility. 
Of note, we don't expose the patient or surgeon to additional radiation or contrast agents. We have a fantastic and growing multidisciplinary team based in Perth, and we're looking forward to very shortly announcing a global leader in the breast cancer field joining our board. So what are we asking for today? We're looking for to recruit a product manager to the team, and we're asking you to help support us with introductions and assistance for capital raising to help surgeons get all of the cancer where it belongs in the bucket the first time. <laughs>